Hello and welcome to our new training video. In this video I want to show you how to use the LARS. LARS stands for LaSalle Runtime System. LARS is a simulation tool where you can simulate the control as well as the visualization. The simulation runs on the PC and the project has to be compiled for Intel x86. You can run LaSalle projects with limited real-time and hardware requirements. The file system of the LARS will be set up on the PC on the C drive. I have created a project to show you the usage of LARS. I named it LARS Project and I place the classes timer underline on and the bridge. With the two classes we do a simple switch on delay. To load the project into the LARS you have to start it. Have you started the LARS and the project is already running it shows the black window. You can set the LARS to reset mode, like the normal control. Go to Debug Reset. This will show you the command line interface window and the simulation of the control, the LARS, is in Reset. To load the project into the LARS simulation, you click on the Change Online Settings button. There is the station IP LARS Local. Select this and click on OK. Have you set the IP LARS local station? Make sure that your project is compiled for Intel x86. Therefore, you choose from the compiler menu the Intel x86 and then press the Build Changes button. If the project is compiled, you can go online and do a download. So the project is loaded to the LARS. If the project runs in LARS, it shows the black window. Set the LARS with debug reset in the reset mode and you will see in the status bar that also the project shows reset. Start the LARS with the play button and the project shows run RAM. It runs in the simulation. If you write now on the client in value a 1, the time counts down and the client writes gives me the switch on delayed output.